Hey everyone, Bill Parrish here with Greg Weaver Hi of the Audio Analyst. I'm from GTT Audio and Video. And Greg and I, I went uh, out to the Midwest in May of this year yep. and yep. visited your room. We shot a video and in that video I promised you guys that uh, Greg would be coming out to New Jersey to hear the Mola Mola Kula integrated amp along with the Von Schweikert ESC speakers. And knowing that uh, Greg is just a, a big vinyl file, okay. uh, after two hours with the, uh, with the Mola Mola Kula with the built-in DAC, which is essentially the same as the Tambaki behind Greg, we fired up the Chrono Sparta, which is no stranger to Greg. He's Not at got, all. He's got one at his place I that do. he purchased many, many, many years Was ago. Was that 2015, I think? I've had that for six years, I think. I think so. Six years. Yeah. Wow. Hard to believe, right? It's, yeah. It really is. Uh, that was when we first met, when you brought that for me well, to yeah, do the, you the Absolute Sound Review. For the review. Yeah. For the Absolute yeah. Sound Review, that was... Well, that was the first time we right. formally met. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we knew each other. Yeah. I think we even shared a dinner or yeah. two uh, yeah. at CES. Yep. But, yes. Back in the old days, yeah. yeah. In any case, uh, here we are today, and uh, we've just had a blast listening to this. This is a pretty impressive little device. Um, you know, one of the things that we've talked about, I've, you know, I've had the pleasure over the last few years of doing a bunch of these lifestyle devices. I don't know what else you want to call them. But this is a market segment well, that's going to grow. Modern integrated things. Yeah. Kind of well, yeah. And, and, yeah. And I guess, I, I, let me clarify my comments. What I meant by that was, you know, with this DAC, which is spectacular, and the phono stage, which knocked me the hell out. There's no, I mean, yeah. you saw my face. Right. Um, you know, this all-in-one device, um, it takes up no space. And it's extremely powerful. And it's so freaking versatile. And the scary thing is, it's amazingly good. Um, you know, I've been a Bruno Putzies fan for a long time. Right. Um, but this takes the cake. And I, I one of the comments I made to you earlier, and I, I still think, I, I really believe that. I think, uh, what do you call them? Um, Encore. It's, X? it's, it's an Enpro, improved, improved a, technology. An, an Encore amplifier. Yeah, um, yeah it's, a, it's a newer Encore amplifier that's Mola Mola and Hypex is key. Hypex is the parent company of Mola Mola, yeah. and they're keeping completely in house to themselves. Yeah. Uh, no OEM there. Well, I, 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 yeah. I don't know if you agree yeah, you or not, hear. but. But I think <laughs> what I heard from this may actually sound better than the separate amplifiers. I, I don't know. I really love how this works. Maybe it's just because it's such a dream package that it's all in one. Um, but you know, we've been we've been sitting here since what one thirty, and it's uh, it's been <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been about five hours. Um, and I haven't found a single thing to complain about. We listened to digital. We've listened to some of my uh, mobile fidelity one steps. Some, I mean, some some records we both know really big, well. That's a big case of records you brought out there. <laughs> I did bring a few, <laughs> didn't I? I thought I warned you I was going to bring yeah, some. Yeah. Um, we it probably weighs 30, 35 pounds. At, at least. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, it, the 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 thing that shocked me is the device. I mean, you can buy it just as an integrated amp, correct? Right. It, uh, yeah, what it is, it's a la carte. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you can buy it as a classic integrated amp, which would take the place of your preamplifier and your amplifier. Right. So it's a single box with a preamp and an amp built into it. And the preamplifier is essentially, well, and you can see it shares the, kind of looks the, like the same sh chassis. It shares the same chassis, different backplate, but shares the same chassis as the Makua preamplifier. And like the Makua preamplifier, you can get uh, options right. and one would be a DAC option and as I was describing to Greg and the other a phono option but as I was describing these are not what most people would think is cards yeah. or I mean these are these are discrete dis boards right? discrete boards yeah. is what they are yeah they're discrete boards the there's no chip in the um, 
it, it's it's not a chip deck. No. I mean, and oh and, god, no. no, oh no. no. I mean, it's it's got an FPGA in there that can be programmed, and they can change firmware and software. Um, it uses uh, Bruno's discrete uh, PWM way of uh, do, yeah. doing the decoding. It does DSD. I, I mean, it's 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 the best stack on the market if you believe the Tabaki is because it's the same thing inside yeah, and, there. And if you guys wanted to find out how what I thought of the Tabaki, um, I have a video. If you want to go watch it, it's I I, I love this thing, and um, I will be having one soon. There's, it's going to come yes. back to my house. It's going to come back to my house. He's um, been threatening to buy one. Yeah. yeah. But what, what struck me was, as affordable... Look, it, I'm not going to say this is inexpensive gear. It's no. not. But as affordable as it is, the, the fact that this kind of market segment where, you know, and guys, you know, most of the people in high-fidelity journalism look like me. Older white guys. Okay, I mean, sadly, that's just how it is. It needs to change, but it hasn't done much yet. The point is, is guys like me or people of my ilk are, you know, transitioning out of their own homes into retirement communities or smaller places or with family. This kind of device, it saves space and it gives you almost the same sense that you get from that full rack. And in some ways, it's even more interesting. I, I could not get over... Um, how affordable the phono stage is in this, and how many how many different uh, EQs did you say at seventy two? Seventy two different 72. equalization curves. You can control them through a Bluetooth app. It's insane. But we, that is a hundred percent done in the analog domain. Well, yeah, he caught me off guard with that. But you can hear you can hear the relay switching the the circuits in and out, and you can do it from your listening chair. We were playing an older. Uh, an overshaded dog, and we put in the RCA uh, EQ, and it was like, wow. We went back to the RIAA standard curve from, what, the early 70s. Right. Um, there's DECA curves. There's, I mean, I don't know. If, if you collect records, yeah. I mean. They're in there. Oh, my God. There's 72 equalization curves. That's nuts. Um, I can't remember what the model number was, but at Expona 19, I believe it was, um, Airtight introduced a phono stage. That had like seven EQs, which was a lot. It, yeah. I mean, I think prior to that there was like three. Yeah, and there was uh, Zandon did one that had three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, FM Acoustics did one that had three. So when he talks about affordable, relatively affordable, just right. look at those two phono stations yeah. I look, just mentioned. Look at the airtight. Uh, yeah. FM Probably Acoustics here. is over a hundred k. The uh, the Zandon's around fifty k. And I think the airtight's about twenty seven or okay. 26. So there you go. So I don't remember. And, for and sure. you know we but talk about this relative affordability yeah. because everything here is. on GTT Audio's channel is expensive. I mean that's and and everything that the audio analysts <laughs> talk. <laughs> about is expensive. Yeah. It's just the game and, yeah. and uh, the, the, that we play in. You know, it's the league that we play in. Well, but, know, but you have. So let's just look at it to my, to Mola Mola's products. We've got the Makua here, and the Makua is twelve two, and then over here I've got the Kaluga mono amps, and they're seventeen two. So those two combined, you would need. This takes the place of that. And this is 13.8. Yeah. So this is what we're talking yeah. about when yeah. we're talking about relative, relative affordability. Relative yeah. affordability. And, and value for what you get. Oh, um, value. Huh? You know, and, <laughs> and, 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 you know, and that's the thing we were talking about earlier in the drive-in from the airport is, was, was, you know, uh, relativity. Um, you know, not everybody wants to spend that kind of money. But if you're in a situation where you've had a really killer system and you want to shrink or, or downsize or... You know, if if you you pick up a, a second house, or you you want to put one in your bedroom or your office, or you get an apartment, you want to put it in something like this takes up little space, yeah, and it gives you so much capability, dude. I I could not get over. I, I, look, everybody, anybody that knows me knows I like digital, but I love analog. Okay, yeah. Well, that's why we this fired that dude, up too. But this yeah. phono stage knocked me out. Now. <sighs> I, I just I can't get over. Um, it's amazing to me what this whole thing does. Um, at its price, it's pretty bloody affordable, and 
It does and, and so you, much. And you talk about, um, you know, who, who's it targeted towards? And it's really targeted towards everybody. Yeah. Because yeah. as I mentioned to you, out of the ones I've sold, I've done some for family rooms, some for two-channel audio rooms. Uh, the family room was integrated uh, with the television and everything. Sure. Uh, we've, we've had some executives purchase them for their office, this, with a nice little pair of speakers. And then, uh, and, and then we've had people purchase them for their apartment. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's uh, their yeah. vacation home. Well, that so makes perfect sense. It, this, it's compact. Um, it's, it's very stylish. It, I don't know if the camera can really pick up exactly it how, how it looks and and the, the, the pure beauty of it. Well, but the sound quality. I want to that's that's right. that I want to talk about what we heard from yeah. this thing because, um, you know, the, the the a couple of things that grabbed my attention were it's overall neutrality. Okay, I mean it's not. I told you straight up. First thing was it does. If I didn't know, I would not think that I was listening to a Class D amplification system. Even Bruno Butzi's Class D, which is pretty good. Yeah, I mean and it's. And then the Mola yeah. team. Yeah. And the Netherlands takes that technology and tweaks it. That does even more. Yeah. yeah. But the 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 things that that struck me. I mean the individuality of instruments in complex arrangements was preserved, and yet that that. Tapestry of all of them playing together was magical. I mean, it it it, it does so much that I wouldn't. Sorry, I wouldn't expect at that price range. Okay, right. um, and again, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to sell this thing to you guys. I'm just telling you, it knocked me out. Um, he's trying to sell it to you. <laughs> um, well, I think you should listen to it. It'll sell itself. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the best advice. Yeah. I mean, this thing. You know, I wasn't skeptical coming in. No, but I mean, you've had experience with Moa yeah. in the past, and I don't think you'd get on an airplane for uh, yeah, well, poking the dark. You, no. you, I think you knew that no. uh, you were going to hear something special. But this thing, plus, you know these speakers. Uh, yeah, well, I've, yeah, I'm real yeah. familiar with the whole Von Schweiker line for 25, 28 years. And um, and, and, and these things, this things, I think, is another value. At, at the footprint is tiny, and they are pretty amazing speakers. But we can talk about that later. I just, I, and the combination actually is pretty it's a nice good. energy. It's a really nice combination. Um, we played at any volume. Yeah, well, I, you know, I'm an old rocker, so I kind of yeah. like to get loud with some of the things we played. Um, and the classical stuff, I mean, dude, it was spectacularly neutral. You know, normally you hear, I, I won't say normally in this price range, but at this price point, there are a lot of different things out there, and not all of them are worth your time, sadly. Um, and I, I'm not here to disparage anybody. Right. But the fact that this thing, I mean, even just as a base integrated, is yeah, spectacular. Um, I, I, I can't get over I mean, I knew I was going to like it, Bill. <laughs> I just didn't know it was going to win me over like this. Although, Maurice... Uh, let me know that Maurice Jeffries. Oh, Maurice Jeffries. Um, who's a real feedback. good friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he went gaga over this and called me a couple of times to talk about it. Yeah, too, he just so. published a review in Positive. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I will look him up. I'll, so, how about that, uh, the Harry James, the old Sheffield Labs dude, record? Wasn't that the, fun? That song, Cherokee. I mean, that. The put, dynamics in the drum kit, it was. It put the drum crazy. kit in, in this the room. room. Yeah. In this room. Well, I think. I, I'm not sure if that was the record or not, but one of the first things I said when I think it was that record came on was, there is no equipment in this room. Yes, it was. I mean, that was my exact quote. There gone. is no equipment in this room. That was music, dude. There was, we didn't hear the speakers. Yeah. We couldn't. We, there was, well, um, I think the whole day we just ignored the, the equipment for the well, most part, yeah. and we listened to the music, and that's well, what it's, it's That's about. one of the reasons I, I come to listen with you, buddy. You tend to represent some of the finest products I've heard, and... Uh, you know you got me hooked on a few. I bought a few of them from you. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So awesome. Yeah. Well, Greg, thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me, buddy. I, you know, I love coming out here. I, I, I enjoy your company and I love all your rooms. Um, so thanks for having me. You got it. I appreciate it. If you like this, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, comment below, share it. 
and we'll see you in two weeks. So long, everybody.